Jay, can you hear us? Oh, perfect. Oh, and yes, we can see you. Oh, is that Hawaii? Oh, that is so beautiful. I'm so glad, Jake, that you were able to meet with us today. Yes, this is Ace Financial Advising. And I want to um, introduce you to a little bit of the team. So we've got several people online right now. I am Crystal. Hi there, Jake. Coming in here from Dallas, Texas. And I want to hand you over next to Alejandra. Hi, Jake. My name is Alejandra. I'm really happy and excited to meet you. And I'm here to answer your question. Now I'm going to introduce you to Elena. Hi, Jake. I'm part of the team, and I'm here to answer all the questions that you have. Next up is Christy. Hi, Jake. I'm Christy, as they said. Super excited to get into this. We've been working on this for a while, and I think you're going to be happy with what we've come up with. And now I'll take it back to Crystal. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right. Hi there, Jake. All right. So we were able to take your numbers that you gave us at our last phone conference because you started your business back in June and you had one month of, of, of business, current business. And then we've, we've also been able to make some future forecasting predictions based on several different models that I think you'll be very interesting to hear about. So uh, we're going to start looking at the current projections that you gave us for June. So in June, your product won, your Launch It product, sold uh, you had $2,000 in sales. And then your product two had $3,000 in sales. That's the treat time product total of five thousand dollars now we wish we could take all of that home with us but we can't so we have to take that variable cost out and then we're left with twenty four hundred dollars the contribution margin there but then we do have those fixed costs you've got the employee that you've hired and you have the trade show fee so we take the fifteen hundred out and you're left with nine hundred dollars as your operating income and then a weighted average contribution margin of forty eight percent now in order to break even, you have to sell 125 units of product one, 63 of product two. That's a total of 188 units. Now, when we add in that you're desiring to have your $8,000 of, of profit, we have to now take that into consideration. You have to earn a lot more to begin with and then deduct that. So that means you have to earn $19,791.67 per month, which means you have to take. Uh, Product one, and actually manufacture and sell 792 of them. Product two, 396. And you have to give yourself an honest assessment of where you've started in your business. If you think during a first or second month launch, can you actually sell that many products? Okay. Now, your margin is safety. These numbers here on this slide are very important because you want higher numbers, it means it's harder for your business to fail. So your current margin of safety is 1,867, and your leverage factor is 2.67. Now, we'd like to see that number get a little higher, though, okay? The expected change in your operating income is 13.35% that you'll have every month, okay? Now, that, again, is your current projections. I'm going to pass you off now to Alejandra, and she's going to continue with some more scenarios. Hi, Jake, again. So now I'm going to answer your question about the supplier cost. Uh, I'm going to read your question out, li out loud. And your question is, uh, what would happen if my supplier increases the cost of his products by 20%? So what is going to happen if your supplier increases the cost by 20% uh, is that your original price is 900 and your new price will be 720. Uh, this means that you're losing 108. And here in the wage average uh, contribution margin, your original is 48%, and then your new one is 44%. Um, this is a minus 4% change. And then on the margin of safety, you have 38 minus uh, 33 is minus 5%. As you see here, uh, the numbers are changing and they are 
decreasing. Uh, of course, we don't want this to happen because uh, what we want to happen if your income to go up and the numbers to go up. Uh, the conclusion of this is that your income will decrease if the price of the item from the supplier goes up. So my advice to you, Jake, is uh, that you should uh, look or you should find a better manufacturer that can give you products uh, at a better price. And now Elena is going to solve your next question. Hi, Jake. My name is Elena again. And now I see you had a question about your new sales mix. And we'll go ahead and answer that. Your question was, what would happen if I sell 175 of the launch it's rather than 200 and 125 of the treat times rather than 100? Now, if you see here, this is your little chart. These numbers here are your original numbers, and then the new numbers are here, and then your change numbers are right here. So if you notice here for the operating income, which means the amount of profit dollars from a business after deducting operating expenses, um, is the original one was $900, but is the new one is $1050, which is $150 change, and then your weighted average contribution margin which kind of means how much profit you are getting from each unit. The original was eight and the new was 875. So that's a 75 cent change. And then the units to earn target from target profit is the original is 1188 and then the new one is 1086. Now, although there is a 102 decrease of units, um, this is still something that is recommended and you're gonna see why. If you focus more on the items that bring you more profit per unit, you can sell less total units but make more money. So although you're making less units, in reality, you're actually earning more profit than in units. So we totally recommend you to do this. It's something that you should do because you'll make more money. So now I'm going to go ahead and pass you over to Christy. Hi, Jake. Okay. So I'm going to be answering your third question about the um, the alternative contract that your employee presented to you. So just to be sure, your question was, what would happen if I give my employee his new preferred contract and give him $500 more each month, but decrease his monthly revenue percentage by 5%? So we crunch the numbers, and uh, right now, uh, I guess you can see in the original column, you are making $900 um, in operational income. If you gave him $500 a month, it would you'd be making $650 right now, which is a uh, $250 decrease of your current operational income. Um, which sounds, you know, that sounds bad, but it's actually not. That's the bad news. I have good news as well. Uh, the good news is that your operational leverage factor actually goes up, um, which means that the more you sell, basically the more profit that you'll make. Uh, the higher the number is, the more that correlates together. Um, and then also the expected percentage change in operational income has also increased uh, by 7.05%, uh, which is really good. That means you're going to be making even more money per month and that's because of the 5% decrease of, uh, of money that you're giving to your employee over time. So this contract is better for you in the long term since it will get you more money in the future, but you will have to give up more money in the present. Um, so in a way, you could kind of see it as like a piggy bank. So if you give your employee the $500 right now, then in the future, um, you could be keeping the 5% um, the, the that you would be giving him. So I highly recommend this. I think this is a good deal for you. Um, I think um, I think 100% you should go with this. <laughs> All right, uh, and then, so overall, according to projections, you are on track to earn a steady rising income if your sales continue to increase. So thank you for choosing ACCE Financial Accounting Company, or ACE. Um, and you could find us at these emails right here, but I think you already have all of them. I think um, uh, Crystal sent them over to you. Uh, and do you have any questions? Jake. I know you're in Hawaii and you're drinking margaritas, but that is not appropriate right now for a professional discussion. We're all taking women. Okay. All right. You keep drinking your margaritas, Jake. Have a good vacation. Okay. Bye-bye.